Welcome back to Country Sports, everybody. Today, we're going to be continuing the 2019-2020 college football prediction videos with Arkansas, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Um, this is kind of a polarizing team. You've got two into the spectrum, really. you got teams that people that think they're going to be good and people that think this team is going to be one of the worst in the ACC. I fall somewhere in between that, but without further ado, let's get started. So, the first game up on the schedule, Portland State. That's an easy win. I don't think the Razorbacks could choke this game away although i wouldn't put it past them but i don't think it's very likely at all next up is ole miss this will be an away game in mississippi and this is the first loss of the season that i have marked down for arkansas now i don't think ole miss is going to be great but i don't think arkansas is going to have the firepower to beat them on their home turf um Neither of these teams will be amazing, but I think Ole Miss will have the upper hand simply because of a home field advantage. So the next week after that, after their 1-1, one and one, they travel back home to face Colorado State. Now, Colorado State will be a good team, and this will be an interesting game, but I think simply because Arkansas is an SEC team, and as I've mentioned in the last video, which you can check a link for in the corner, um, the SEC kind of makes you more dominant over teams and just more physically ready to face teams out of maybe less tough conferences so even though colorado state will be a good team i think that arkansas could pretty pretty easily take them down but it will be a somewhat interesting game the next week it will not be such an interesting game san jose state i haven't done too much research on them so who knows they could be amazing next year but i think for now i'm going to have to give arkansas the win i don't think that should be too tough a game for them um, then next week in Arlington, Texas, they face the Texas A&M Aggies. Now, this is the second loss I have for them. Um, Texas A&M will be a really good team next year, I think. They do have a tough schedule, but I think that they will get the better of Arkansas this game. Arkansas, I don't think, will be able to compete. Um, it is a neutral side game, even though it's in Texas, and Texas A&M will have somewhat home field advantage just due to fans being closer to the stadium but i think that that will be in the aggies favor then the next week after the bye in which they go into three and two they've had a pretty solid start to the season and they travel on the road to go to kentucky now this is a win in my eyes kentucky is going to be on a pretty steep downhill slide from last year they had a pretty historic season and they could probably get back to a bowl game this year but i think that arkansas goes into kentucky and uh, I think that Arkansas goes into Kentucky and just simply outplays them. I think Kentucky doesn't have quite as good players as last year. They lost a ton of pieces, and so they might be a bowl team, but they're not as good as Arkansas. So, at this point, Arkansas is 4-2. and two. They're feeling good. And then you have this tough schedule of games, this tough stretch. Um, Auburn, Alabama, Mississippi State. Western Kentucky, not so much. LSU and then Missouri. Now, this is part of the schedule that I don't think they're going to recover from. Um, you have Kentucky. They won that game. And then you have Auburn. And that may be a home game, and they may be able to compete. But I think Auburn takes the win there. And then they travel on the road to Alabama. Now, this will be severely hard for them to overcome. They might compete in one quarter because Alabama just seems to do stuff like that. But this could get ugly really fast. So Arkansas may be a good team, but they're not going to compete with Alabama. Then you have Mississippi State. I think that they're reeling from two straight losses, and even though they might be slightly motivated, I think that they're just too beat down for the past two weeks of really good teams to play with Mississippi State. So even though it's a home game, I have Mississippi State taking that one, and all of a sudden Arkansas is 4-5, and five, and they're reeling. So next week they have a little bit of an easier game. It's at home and they have Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky may be slightly good, but they won't compete with Arkansas. So that'll be a win. Then they go into the bye week. They are five and five, 500. They need to win one more game to get to a bowl game, which would be a phenomenal um, improvement over last year's two and 10 record, which they might've been better than that, but whatever. They travel to LSU in the next week first week after the bye they've had a bye to prepare after those that one and three record the past four weeks but lsu beats them pretty handily probably lsu will be a playoff sec contender and arkansas is not that so lsu pretty easily takes the win and then in missouri i think arkansas could come out and play motivated um this will be an away game so it will be tough and i'm really high on this missouri team this year but I think Arkansas could compete, but I think Missouri takes the win here. But this may be a really close game simply because Arkansas wants to get to that bowl game. But I think Missouri is just the better team overall. So my final prediction for Arkansas is 5-7. and seven. 
Um, they will be a good team, but not a great team, and I don't think they're quite to the bowl ready level yet. Um, but they will be improving, and next year might be that bowl year for them. But they do have that really tough stretch of games that will hold them back from getting to the to a bowl game. So thanks so much for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get all our college football prediction videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. God bless.